Uh, hello, everyone. Today, I'll present our work, Effects of Static and Low-Frequency Magnetic Fields on Gene Expression. This work was published in the Journal of Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Okay, but before we begin, let me give you a brief overview of what we'll be covering today. We'll discuss the motivation and goals of our study, the effects of MRI magnetic fields on DNA, experimental findings on magnetically induced gene expression changes, and to wrap up, we'll take a look at the mechanisms that lie behind these effects. By the end of this video, we hope that you'll get a clear picture of the challenges in magnetogenetics and ideas for future research directions. Let's get started. Uh, studies show that magnetic fields influence cellular processes, including gene expression. Our goal was to analyze current research and explore how gene expression was affected by static and low frequency magnetic fields. So what is the challenge? Biological cells are diamagnetic, meaning they experience only weak magnetic forces, too weak to compete with the viscoelastic and bioelectric forces regulating intracellular processes. This makes it difficult to understand how cells interact with magnetic fields and which pathways alter gene expression. And the lack of a clear molecular framework slows progress in developing magnetic field-based therapies. Our study examines gene expression changes in cells, bacteria, plants, and organisms exposed to magnetic fields from 1 to 22 Tesla. In our everyday lives, we are constantly surrounded by magnetic fields. But MRI scanners, when we go to the doctors, expose us to the strongest one among them. These scanners usually operate at 3 to 9 Tesla, with advanced models reaching up to 21 Tesla. This, of course, raises concerns about the safety of prolonged exposure. Exposure lasting 6 to 88 hours has been shown to affect DNA. How does it affect DNA? By influencing transcription and DNA loop formation, by causing mutations, by affecting DNA unwinding and supercoil formation, and even by inducing DNA breaks. To understand how magnetic fields affect genes, let's define what is gene expression. Gene expression is the process by which genetic information in a DNA sequence is converted into a functional product, either RNA or a protein. Transcription begins when transcription factors, primarily proteins and RNA molecules, bind to regulatory regions on DNA. The frequency of this binding determines the level of gene expression. In this work, we summarized experimental findings across different cell types, bacteria, plants, and organisms exposed to different magnetic fields that range from 1 to 22 Tesla. Interestingly, the same magnetic field strength can have opposite effects on different genes. Gene expression changes depend on magnetic field strength and orientation, magnetic gradient magnitude and direction, exposure time, and cell type and age. To explain these results, we explore possible mechanisms based on a model proposed by Cheng in 1998. According to this model, magnetic fields may alter the movement of charged molecules like DNA, RNA, and proteins, therefore affecting replication, transcription, and translation. They can influence ion channels affecting calcium, sodium, and potassium flow, which regulates gene expression. They can also affect reactive oxygen species, which play a significant role in gene regulation they can modulate mechanosensitive channels, altering membrane potential and calcium signaling, and they can even deform the cell membrane and cytoskeleton 
sending mechanical signals to the nucleus and thus affecting DNA stability. Our generalized model suggests that magnetic fields generate mechanical stress on cell membranes. This stress opens ion channels, allowing calcium ions to enter. Calcium then acts as a secondary messenger, regulating gene expression. The mechanisms we have discussed could explain how magnetic fields influence gene expression from membrane potential changes to long-term evolutionary effects. Moreover, this generalized model could lay the foundation for magnetogenetics, a growing area of research that harnesses magnetic fields to engineer genes and manipulate cells, proteins, and DNA. We believe that future research should focus on answering the following key questions. How do magnetic fields interact with DNA, RNA, and proteins? What are the molecular mechanisms behind gene regulation by magnetic fields? Can we target specific genes or pathways with high precision? Do genetic changes accumulate with repeated exposure, such as through MRI procedures, and how magnetic fields impact embryonic development and early stage organisms. Don't hesitate to share your ideas for future research and questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.